Clever girl. Second audio track. Second audio. Second audio track. Clip that nipple mic on. Yep. It's not gonna work as good. I'm gonna cut that wire with that clip. You're gonna cut that wire with your face if you don't shut up. Do it. I'd like to see it happen. My face will cut it. Do what? What? What you came here to do? <laughs> Looking at the crossways. Are we gonna go there? <laughs> do it to it. <laughs> yeah, Plumber Bubba. It was. Yeah. My grandma gets all cracked up on the spice, the space spice or whatever oh, yeah. it was. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! I just need a little more. She's like bouncing around her and stuff. That was one thing. Like when I was a kid, and I first started considering the fact that aliens might be real, I was like, "What are their drugs like?" <laughs> all right. I think I fixed it now. Oh, good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right. Did you fix Mafia 2? Nope. We're Mafia 2 was actually... We're not actually... playing Mafia 2. Mafia 2 is good. Did Mafia you fix Mafia as well? No. Oh. How do I have to do this? <laughs> We're grossly unpre unprepared. Just... Oh, and this is a mini process process here. Man, I hope my roommate hasn't been drinking because I just saw you open up that PS2 folder and I was like, I got Final Fantasy X in my house with a real PlayStation 2. Ha! <laughs> ha! 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 You and me are like the only two people in the world that don't feel weird about saying that they really want to play Final Fantasy X. No, man, and, and Colt, and he's good to go on it, bro. He's like, let's build a blitzball team. I was like, yes! <laughs> Alright. San Andreas, though. Yeah, though. Yeah. Shit! Yep. Yeah. There. There we go. Yes. Classy. Alright. I love this game. Oh, yeah, man. Damn Skippy. You love the, the save the, or the, going the, from the this beginning? Is, uh, this is a save. I don't know where it is. I, I'm If I'm... Even better. If I'm at any... If I'm myself... This is probably halfway through San Fierro when I gave up. Yeah. When it was boring. You know, like before all the zero missions and shit like that. Understandably. Before I get to the cool stuff in Las Venturas. That's probably where I am. Let's find out. Am poor, I right? Poor CJ. Am I right? Nope. Oh, no. This is this is a new game. Oh, this is brand new. This is brand new. Yeah. Alright, I'll just skip all this then. We're gonna be on a bicycle. Yay! So, I was trying to teach my ex-wife how to appreciate video games, and I started her off brand new on GTA 3. Right. That might be the reason she's my ex-wife now. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> you, you can't disrespect the beginning of GTA 3. No, absolutely. Like, am I not. doing anything? I was like, no, you're watching a cutscene. And then she was driving, and then she was like, am I driving? I was like, yes, it's fucking Grand Theft Auto! Like, <laughs> Do you not see the Karuma you're in? Oh, it's hard sometimes. Like you gotta, you gotta start people no. that aren't familiar with video games off on something that's really simple and has simple inputs. Plant like, versus Zombies when, is a good example. When's the first? What was the first game you remember yourself playing? Like your very first game, Mortal Kombat. Yep. The Smurfs it, on Atari. It frustrated me to no end. I couldn't even figure out how to change my characters. I think I pushed one of. I've thought about this memory a lot. It was on, it was combat on the Sega Genesis. My 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 babysitter had it. She was like a teenager at the time, and and I think it was probably her boyfriend because there was always other guys around. Oh, I remember better, she was some skanky. cheat. I think it was the weapons cheat. There you go. All right, you I just started, I just started putting in buttons, and I remembered this. Now well there, done. there's 
three weapons cheats in this game. Muscle right. memory. Slight variations. But anyway, so she had that, and I think I pushed one of the six freaking Genesis buttons on the side instead of the arrows the first time, and I locked myself into Kano. And I've told you this story because Kano is your favorite comp- your favorite fighter. Ah. I will not choose Kano. Yeah, I, I, I hate I Kano. I always thought Chris's favorite fighter was Reptile. I don't know about that either. We're, I, we're talking MK1, man. MK1, my favorite would probably be Sub Zero. Well, you've changed your opinion since the last. I don't. I, I, I don't know. You were a big Kano. I fan mean, Kano for a is Kano time. is good. He's got that ball, and I that ball is super fast. I hate him to this day. He was my first frustration in a video game, and he will never redeem himself. And he was a very good guy, especially in three. He, he was, was great in three. Yeah, he had he those uh, spikes that he could throw. And the the boomerang thing. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. But re- redemption shall never be Kano's in my mind. Hey, man, pull over. I need uh, two number nines, a number six, extra dip, number nine large, and a large soda. <laughs> Fine. Yes. You think? You think? You think? You know what? I'm proud of my big smoke impression. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you're proud. Thank you. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> good. I tried. I feel you came like to the wrong house, house fool. <laughs> the, the the buddy in five, Lamar, whatever. What was? Oh, I name? hate him. He's the, the worst. I, oh, he's so bad. I feel so like they bad. tried to remake Smoke, and that's you why think? it didn't work. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he did. He did have the, the. He was green, and he had the Grove Street thing kind of going yeah. on. That was cool, though. Driving around in that cul-de-sac again, it was like, oh man. I, I love seeing that cul-de-sac I in remember. HD. Like yeah. that was really nice. This game's gonna get a remake, dude. It's, you think? It's oh, they're remaking everything. Of course they're. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. If they do remake this game, I wish that they would kind of enhance the burglary missions a little bit more. Because the burglary missions are my favorite part of any Grand Theft Auto game. I made a whole uh, video dedicated to the burglary missions. Hey, everybody, check out Chris's video on the burglary missions. That's a little hyperlink there. Check it down below. If you're an internet historian, you know about hyperlinks and the philosophy. You remember annotations? Remember? Remember the annotations? You could put little boxes on your videos and you could say what the videos were. Remember you know, monetization? It was the remember the monetization of the videos? You could put a video up and you could get money off of it. It didn't matter if you had a hundred viewers or two hundred viewers. It didn't matter. The Ramones. Now you gotta uh, got ten thousand. Like don't talk about the Ramones. They'll sue us again. <laughs> They'll sue us again. <laughs> you know hyperlink is a like a philosophical term that predates the internet. If I'm not mistaken, it predates computers as well disagree it's 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 the concept of linking things together sure philosophy it makes me smart sure (laughs) a hyperlink is many links i mean i get that but it's it's a way of tying them together to where they can find each other well yeah and you know meme was a thing before memes were a thing very shortly hey i think i said that in our last video no one cares that was (laughs) what's that asshole atheist that's richard dawkins yes that's the guy very intelligent very asshole Uh, yeah i'm i I follow his facebook and it is uh, uh uh often depressing every now and then Every now and then, it's good. Uh, often depressing. Got to be a yeah. pretty bleak individual. Oh yeah. Oh man. yeah. Get your shit together, Richard Dawkins. <laughs> <laughs> I, we, look, we, we all we all want to figure out what's going on. You don't got to be a dick about it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, then what's the argument then? I just. That just no, I'm not trying to argue anything. He's just kind of a dick. Be a dick for your beliefs, yeah. or he, lack thereof. He's an atheist. He's a dick. And that's that's the summation of my story. So everyone of every faith has it. Talking. They're just entitled to be dicks, because you know. Faith. Aren't we all entitled to be dicks? That's your that's your American God given right. I'm gonna be a dick to you. You know. No, I mean it's not really. There's only three types of people in this world. <laughs> Dicks, yeah. pussies, and assholes. <laughs> Team America. You can yep. that scene. Yeah, and if, and if you don't get that reference, then you you, you got some, some. Then you're somewhat younger some, than us. Some Why are you watching this video? to do. 
it always interests me the people that watch the Team America movie and they don't get that it's satire and the people that walk around and are just like America fuck yeah and they mean that seriously it's just like oh you don't understand that that would like that's not what that was about though they still won that's not the point though <laughs> that's not the point of the well, movie the point was that they blew up everything with rocket launchers and they still fucking won we don't blow no. up everything with rocket launchers. No. We barely even use rocket launchers anymore. Well, not anymore, no. <laughs> now we've got robots that have the rocket launchers attached to them. Well, yeah, but no, we don't even use those. Obama's out of office. No, man, we still use those. Yeah, you think, <laughs> yeah, you think no, that yeah. stops? We still totally Obama. Not, that, that ain't stop shit. We just don't hear about it anymore. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I forgot about all the bicycling in this yeah, game. Yeah, they really forced the bicycles to start off. Dick. I I, you know what I just rude. forgot about until right now? Fucking fat CJ. Oh, yeah. You oh, can yeah. make yourself Getting super you CJ fat. fat you and shit, dude. That was the best way to go. Mm-hmm. And then all the martial arts training. God, this game was fun. This game was the first game where I realized about how, like, invisible walls work and how... Uh, not so much Invisible Walls, but, like, you know how before this they had what they called the Blue Hell in GTA games where sometimes you would just fall through the ground when you were driving too fast? Shit, that still happens in games. It still (laughs) happens, but, like, the reason why that happens, um, Mm. because the game doesn't load everything fast enough for you to, you know, recognize it as you pass through. But there's an area in the gym. um, It's in the gym in Ganton in this game. And if you have a jetpack, you can fly straight up through a corner of the roof in the gym. And in that blue hell empty area, you can go around and you can visit every interior. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's part of the speed run. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you can jump to every interior, and it's all interiors that were featured either in like scene transitions or cutscenes. Dude, speed run videos are crazy. Oh, it's nuts. It's disgusting almost how they it can is. just like skip through stuff. I've never understood the fun of that. Like, isn't the fun of a game playing the game to explore it's, it? It's, and it's see the what world you can record. Do. Dude, there is no fun. It's the world record. It's the record. Is there fun in playing a Mario game and using the warp pipe to get to the end of the game faster? Yes, when you're six. But, but <laughs> pretty much only yeah. when you're six. Right. Like when you're right. older, you just want to play the levels and have yeah. fun with the game. Back I'm when the only loops, evidence baby. you had besides doing it yourself was hearing about it on the playground. Yeah, right. shit mattered. Yeah, it did, bro. <laughs> My older cousin taught me this shit. <laughs> you know how to unlock noob cybot, motherfucker? I do. Mm. Fucking Jade, man. You just gotta do low kicks. Don't block. See, I didn't even know that one. That was what, that was Mortal two? Kombat two, yeah. Yeah, it's like those secrets used to be so convoluted that if you try to tell somebody about them today, they wouldn't fucking believe you. It's like, oh, to get reptile, you got to be on this one stage, but you got to wait for Santa Claus to go across the moon, but you got to get a double flawless, you You're see, right. and then you got to do the stage fatality. Bitch, like, let me see that YouTube really? video. I don't believe you, <laughs> dude. You know how many fake ones of those I fell for? Oh yeah, oh millions. man, so I, many. Po- Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow were full of them. Rumors that oh, went around yeah. like crazy. How to catch Mew in like the first cave you go in and all kind of stuff like that. And honestly, some of them were probably like speed run stuff. You just have to hit it with all ah, of balls. these values mm. already there. I'm you so know? Close. I caught all 150, and I went back to that building where the dude and where the developers are. Like you know that little yeah. meta section. Uh, I think it's Celadon City, if I'm not mistaken. And it's like, come back when you catch all 150, and we'll give you something really cool. And I'm like, motherfucker, I'm going to get Mew. This is going to rock. And they give yeah, you a little like a fucking dinky certificate. Oh, man. It's like, you're a Pokemon master. I still don't know if there's a way to get Mew in that game. I've seen it, but I, I think it's a it's a file hack, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah, it's, it's a speed run file hack. you got to do Missing No and like a bunch oh, of other convoluted man, I, shit. I'm missing no the shit out of that game. 99 rare candies and two stacks, boy. Wah, let's go. <laughs> man, fuck a Elite Four. <laughs> I, I am the Elite Four. Yeah, my Machamp is going to not lose. <laughs> I don't remember what they're saying in this cutscene. They're talking about how to get the hot coffee cheat. Okay. <laughs> that way I can have uh, dry, humpy sex while fully clothed. That's true, and and that's... Uh, and that will be controversy for some reason. Absolutely. fucking yeah. Even though it's a mod that I had to download that changed the game files. And then, what, 
five years later, the first God of War comes out, and then a year <laughs> Where after there's that, actual sex in video the game. First Witcher comes out, and it's like, what? That's porn. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yay! I've got respect plus. Yeah. Yeah, respect plus. Cut some respectful donuts. Let's get the fuck out of here. Fucking wheelies. Oh man, I want to play Matt Hoffman BMX now. Oh. No, you don't. You just think you do. Or was Dude. it? Did Matt Hoffman have one and Dave Mira had one? Dave I Mira's think Dave was Mira's better. was better. One of those yeah. guys has uh, a I've very got... tragic story. I don't remember which one it is, but yeah. one of those guys has a horribly traffic, tragic story. It was not the guy that made BMX Triple X. He had a very good story. <laughs> <laughs> I remember BMX Triple X. I do not. I remember what it was coming BMX out. BMX Triple X. It was porn in a BMX yeah. game. It was essentially where, like, uh, the best move you could do was as a chick, and you would go up a half pipe and bang yourself with the handlebars. Oh, that pretty much sums up the entire yep, game. There you go. Oh, <laughs> I see. Yeah, and it was PlayStation Two, so not even like it was really, you know. But there were guys out there, man, that you from fucking Nintendo sixty four era were jerking off to Princess Peach. So oh yeah. What can I say? And like just rubbing one out to Laura Croft's pointy titties. Yeah, man. Hey, I'm gonna play these burglary missions. I, I must say though, you guys can shut up about that. That was another <laughs> okay. Fine. That was another one of those hack rumors that I fell into was trying to get Laura trying Croft to get naked Laura Croft, Croft <laughs> for as long as possible. Or uh, what's her name, uh, Samus from Metroid Prime? I didn't ever play the Metroid game. Oh yeah, you get to the end and then yeah, you get to the end you and find she out. takes all her clothes off. Yeah, and then she's Metroid Zero, right? But but like, then but then if you have uh, uh, but then if you get all 120 stars, Princess Peach will give you a blowjob, right? Yeah, that's what that's what it was implied in the note by uh, Cake. If you come save me, I'll give you some uh, cake. <laughs> we all know what cake. Mm. Always a lie. Between what? Twenty and six? <laughs> uh, Twenty and six. Okay. So I gotta wait just a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. shit. What I was, was that? I, I okay. that concept. Time in a game. I was like, what? What? And it passes <laughs> differently? And the the days and nights are on a cycle? What the fuck is this? You know that was that motorcycle cop. In, uh, you were so real. I got him. In uh, Breath of the Wild, that was some of the hardest things for me to wrap my head around. Was that I just wasn't at the right time. I was trying to do so many other things. Oh you know, yeah, like yeah. maybe I need to light some stuff. I was trying to play Zelda. You know, and it was like, no, it's Skyrim. Just wait. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of my problem with Breath of the Wild. Is that it's just like, oh, I really want to do this cool thing. Oh, but it's raining. I guess I gotta wait a while until I. So can I climb can this actually mountain. fucking climb. Right. Yeah, burglary. This is the fun stuff. Let's go rob somebody. You find a house. These are. Fun. This is a fine house to rob. I'm yeah. in the warehouse district. I'm in the, the, in the worst yeah. part of town. In for the those. industrial district. We'll find somebody to yeah. rob here. Let's get out of here. I want a full game of this. I really, really want a full robbery kleptomania game. How is there not a cat burglary game? Where you have to fight through your, like, either you have to try and get through the day and, you know, do a normal life fighting your kleptomania urges, or you just rob the fuck out of people. And, it you know, you can make a shit ton of money on the black market. There's no reason why that's not a game yet. You guys ever watch any of uh, Joey Diaz? He's that fat Italian comic that gets on in Joe Rogan a lot. No. Nope. He's, he's got some funny... He was like a, a real dude back in the day and talks about how that's how he woke up every day. He was like, all right, I got no money in my pocket. Let's go rob some folks. And and he would go to the hotel and like pretend to be a, a, a bellman or whatever. And he's like, oh, what room are you folks in? I'll, I'll bring you bags up. And he would just go oh, cut open their bags in the hallway somewhere. Or he would just sit in the lobby and wait to hear, like, oh, we're going to room three. Oh, there's a person right there. Shit. Shit. You have been detected. You lose. What's my shoot button? How do I aim at their face? How have you not shot someone Four, yet? Four, three, two. How have you not been shot? Cops are on the way. Fuck. Everything's going tits up. <laughs> G -g 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 oh, SWAT team automatically. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow. Well, that went poorly. That must have been like a senator's house. This is like real real life. What happened last time I robbed somebody? <laughs> Not last time I got robbed, though. 
<laughs> See, this... Oh, and now it's got to tell me when the hospital, how it works. This is where I played this game. From the front steps of this hospital. Okay. Because I was just doing cheats and and, yeah. and just waylaying everyone. There's the little half pipe that's like right over there. It is, it's a weird place to put a hospital in a game because there's no real good entrances or exits to this area. That's all a GTA game. They put their hospitals in the worst. I think it's because they realized people were playing the game that way. Just going and dying and going and dying and going and dying that they were like, no, go play the game. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, all right, we're going to have to make, once you get, once you die and get into a hospital, we're going to make you drive at least two or three seconds before you can do a thing. You've got to go do a thing. Get out of here. Ah, shit. I hit a cop. No, that cop hit you. Yeah, he did, but that doesn't matter. I'm doing a thing. It's <laughs> all that matters. Oh, yeah, you're on the highway. You're good. Yep. Yeah, this is pre-GTA 4. The cops are nothing. <laughs> I could probably escape to the countryside by now. God, I love this game. Yeah. This was pretty much the heyday. I need to find my old memory card so it has my save in it. Where I can load it up and I can just be right in San Fierro and I can jump over the bridge to Los uh, Venturas, go hang out in the casinos. Yeah, because uh, you, you can't even get to like the jet and stuff right now, can nope, you? Nope, I yeah. cannot. Uh, I can get probably to a few uh, crop dusting planes in the countryside. Hmm. And you can get to the jet from when you have one of them, right? Once you can fly. Well, kind of fly well in there'll, there. be a, uh, there'll be a there'll be a wire level against us, but yeah. I mean, we're at the airport right now. We're here. Let's do this. Yeah, just gonna get a quick one level real fast, just for funsies. Mm-hmm. You still had a little, uh, you know, degree of difficulty. Yeah, it wouldn't be any fun if I wasn't uh, running over benches. Running over <laughs> a couple of pedestrians. They often hang out on benches, so it's not so far fetched. Oh, hello. You know, the one thing that was weird about this game is that the motorcycles are better in Vice City. Excuse me. Trying to get into this marker. Excuse me. Right. Oh, well, that's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't recall that. Okay. I'll just take this car then. Yeah. Shotgun. Excuse me. Uh, fuck, what was health? Up, down, up, down. Uh, hold on. Oh, oh no! no. You'll know when your car gets fixed. Yeah. <laughs> he dove right into it. Dude, yeah, when I, when I was trying to teach the ex-lady how to play these and I couldn't remember those codes, I was like, oh my god, I am old. That was the first time. Well, you know what the, the thing is, it is, really it is the, the worst part about it is that I know for a fact I'm putting in Grand Theft Auto 3 codes. Because <laughs> it's R2, L1, R2, R2, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up. And I think the health one is R2, L1, R2, R2, left, down, right, up, left, down, 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 down. What? He said, you better hope you got that right. Because, oh, man, you will get lambasted and uh, lose all of anything. I don't care. There's no credibility here. Nah. <laughs> no one gives a shit. Can't lose what you never had. <laughs> I'm drunk. Also, I don't care. Plot hole. Plot holes. <laughs> Plot holes. Man, the cabbies in this game are mean. There's one thing yeah, I'm let's glad. be a cab I, driver. I'm, I'm glad that's one thing they kept throughout all of them is that like you better get away from that cab before you get this cab back. Man, he <laughs> needs this cab. That's the way he makes his living. He paid a million dollars for that medallion. <laughs> this is how I learned how to get around in these games. Back before it was super easy, and they would just give you the map, like the line and everything. And, right. it would just, and in the new games, it doesn't even say like. In this one, even it, do, it it started to it just says drive to the burger shot. That's what it says. In GTA Three, it would like be super super specific, and it would say drive to the blank in blank, or you know go to the blah 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 blah. blah. But it would give a really long in depth explanation of the name. And here, it's just like drive to a burger shot. And in GTA 4, it's just like, hey, I need to go to, and then it just says whatever the area of town it is. It doesn't even say, like, specific places. Really want to play Crazy Taxi. Yeah. On Dreamcast, though. On Dreamcast. No other way. 
even the arcade, man, was not nearly as good as the Dreamcast version. Crazy Taxi! Hey, it's Crazy Taxi! I used to be horrible at that game, oh my God, and then I went back and played it as an adult, and I was like, oh my God, this is one of the best video games ever made. Ever made? <laughs> <laughs> this was Burnout before Burnout was around. Speaking of, you were talking about one of the Saints Row games where you do that damage. Yeah. It, it was like Burnout Paradise. Kind of. It's kind of like Crash Mode and Burnout Paradise, except in Saints Row. But the one before Paradise, mm -hmm. that was the whole game. Except you're not the car. Burnout uh, You're the three. person. I think it was just Burnout 3. Yeah, Burnout 3. God, that game was fun, man. Oh, my God. Hit the oil tanker. Hit the... Get, get, like yeah. you, Everything was landing on top of the tanker. Everything. But it was so much fun. That was the one where they got the, the aftershock, you know, where you could keep going after you blew up. <clears throat> yeah, you press the button and it goes into, like, slow motion. Yeah, it was, like, so simple but so much fun. Man. Yeah, it really was. And you can just kind of guide it into separate explosions. I have that for my PS2, but, I like, I wanted to play it on my computer. I tried downloading an emulator for it, and that game does not respond well to emulation. You know it doesn't respond well to age? Any Me. of the Twisted Metal games. No. You remember how Oof. good you were at Twisted Metal? No. Yeah, you're not anymore. No. Yeah. You're not. You're not. <laughs> and, and not only that, but they're not fun to play. No. Not like, anymore. They're, they're, it's not even fun to just play them just to see the story. It's no. just kind of... Why were they so good back then? I don't then? know. Dude, I put so many hours into Twisted Metal games. I, I played Too a shit ton black. of Twisted Metal Black. You know who was better at being Twisted Metal than Twisted Metal? Vigilante 8 is what you're about to say. Vigilante 8, second, second offense! <laughs> those were some great games, man. Yes. I love the Vigilante. They're, those games are so fucking buggy. They're like, even today, they're still ridiculously oh, yeah. buggy. I've been punched in the mouth from playing multiplayer on that game. <laughs> He's like, nah, dude, I got you. You're dead. <laughs> and then your car just sinks through the floor, oh, but you can still shoot a, a rocket a out. Shot through a culvert or something yeah. like that. Not, the game says I won, bro. This is <laughs> it's what, it, it's what it says. It looks good to me. Those were some Ref, games, Ref so. says it's from the field. We'll play ball. Yeah, another one that doesn't translate well anymore. Road, road rash. All those oh, road rash man. games that were so much Goodness. fun. Nope, you misremembered that. This <laughs> Cruising Damn. USA. Cruising USA was pretty good, man. I love Cruising USA, but it didn't really age that well. Being the only kid in the arcade that knew how to do a wheelie in that car, if you could do it silently, <gasps> you were a G, man. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, you remember when that wasn't an issue? Uh, Nowadays, people are like, oh, broken game. I, I can't believe you shipped it like this. I ran, I ran <laughs> over myself, and now I'm dead. Well done. Yay. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Whoa. Does this game do the thing where if I just stay still, it'll zoom in on what's going on around me? I think it does. Does it? I think so. Let's find out. Yeah, let's find out. How long do you test a theory like that? <laughs> I do love the random shit that, uh, like, Vice City tried to start it. Oh, three was the best. But, but San Andreas was the one that really got into it of, like, stuff happening around you. Oh, I thought you just meant conversations. Three, well, no, three, three, three had the best conversation. To just walk around and listen. My mom is my sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best of me. I've never, it's the best pedestrian comment in any game. Yeah, like, it was such a, a pure, like, it was political, but it was apolitical politics at yes. the time. You yes, know? it was like, very like much early apolitical. South Park, early South Park, yes. you know, like, no, we just hate all things. Yeah, everything, <laughs> every, you're all stupid, everything is wrong. Right. That that, was, that's what GTA was. Eighth grade anarchy in a fucking video game, man. Yes. It was so much fun. There needs to be more of that yeah, nowadays. Dude. Yeah, just um, just to give people that kind cut of release. Your ties and just talk pure shit. Well, it's <laughs> important. It's important, I think, for people that no matter what their affiliations are, to be able to see it from an objective perspective. Oh yeah, if you can't talk shit about yourself, you don't know what the fuck you mean. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Um, all inclusive. Yeah, and all co all the best comedy comes from self-loathing. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. 
Sometimes you just gotta tell people about themselves. And that that includes yourself. We just learned a thing here. Things sure have changed here on Walton's Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, see, it does do it. Oh, okay, awesome. I knew it did. It's like, ooh, look at this police officer. What's he going to do? He looks shifty. Is he going to do a thing? Is he going to? Yep. Oh, oh. Oh. He's just He's... slightly racist. <laughs> 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 just going to cut in front of the black man. Oh, hey, girl. Ooh, what what up, you girl? doing? Oh. oh, nope. I like that bike. I guess that was on us for, for assuming Carl's vision you know is that even carl's vision or is that supposed to be imposed as our vision ah good point what's on the cop now yes let us study the philosophy of san andreas <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure that's a worthwhile path to walk down it might be we can really oh, see yeah. where dan hauser yeah. gets his ideas you this know this video is about to blow up and then, and then, and then, and then the, we're, we're, I'm going to call it a Red Dead Redemption 2 sneak peek. <laughs> is that game out yet? No, no it'll be out, it'll be out in November. Oh, man, the world is going to explode. Fuck, it's going to be that. so good. All you got to do, CJ, is follow your own damn train. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it, because the train is like the train that's inside all of us. Exactly. It's like... But who do you tie up and put on the track? The journey. The journey of the train. It's what matters. It's the journey. It's, yeah. It's, it, that's what matters? It's, it's the it's, journey? It's the getting to the top of the train, not, you know, not what's on the other end of the train. So can you tell me one the answer to one question, though? Is it drops on Jupiter or don't stop believing? Mm. That mm. other song that you said? You know, I saw not them live. Song. I saw them but live. Train song. But one is a train song. I saw them live. Okay, I get it. You okay. know what I said? <laughs> I, I worked at the venue where they were at, and you know what I said to them as they were walking through the hallway? No. Good set, guys. Good. That seems like what you would say in that situation. <laughs> because train set. Oh, I get it! <laughs> it's jokes. It's jokes like a train set. Not one of them got it. That's yeah, no. Really, <laughs> that's really good. The basis <laughs> went next, man. And I was like, oh, basis, bro. I got you. Uh, <laughs> oh, bless your heart. You're the basis in train. <laughs> that's a true story. <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to. I don't want to sing Save Me San Francisco again. God damn it. You know, from outside the walls where I was sweeping up fucking cigarette butts, they actually sounded pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's who they make songs for yeah, for the pe most part people in casinos <laughs> Girls I miss Virginia. the casino life yeah. I do it was alright not when you're a porter though no <laughs> not not the good part of a casino I was it's only ever there the as, 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 <laughs> as a uh, participant I was never there as an employee so it was different it's almost like going to a fancy restaurant once you've worked in any restaurant it's like, well, I man, get that for sure. I, I get the suffering this is built on top of. Yeah, yeah. So I'm still going to lose all my money here, though. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me free drinks, winch. <laughs> we should do a special from the casino boat. We should well, do a, there is no that. casino boat right now. Oh, really? We do a casino really? tour. Because, you know, casinos are popping up all over the place. Gambling laws are opening up everywhere. Mm. That is true. Biloxi's fun. I've been there. I hear there's a place called Lake Charles, Louisiana that has a couple that are all right. Wouldn't know anything. Mm. I think the trains go there. They go close by. I set that joke up really well. Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> here we go again. Oh, no. Now my, it's my, such a, my it, internet identity is going to be compromised. It's such a long journey to get there, you see? Tying yourself back into that joke that failed, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Work the same Speaking as yours, of, I think, right? <laughs> Speaking of journey say, jokes. Say, same amount of quality. <laughs> I think it's time we all go our separate ways. Uh, that might be. Yeah, the wheel in the sky's been turning and stuff. Ooh. What you got? I wish I could what name you, that what band. You, can, you think you can, you can think of any, think more, of any more journey, journey songs? songs? Oh, my God. Um, uh, uh, I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely no. 
<laughs> the only other one is love and touch. I'm like, hey, you motherfucker, Wait, get John, out of my town. Who the fuck do you, think, do you, you are? think you are? <laughs> John Fogarty's not a swamp man? No. Absolutely not. He's from fucking California. There's videos of the band being like, that was the stupidest fucking song he ever wrote. Like, how do you even know what to say as a swamp person? Yet somehow he fooled all of us. That says a little something about swamp people, though. I'm going to take the train from Boston to Chicago. Ooh, going way up there into the cocaine nasal sphere. <laughs> all the way from Boston to Chicago? Woo, brother. And then we'll all hang out with the scorpions. I know some baby boomers that'll show you a good time. <laughs> I am done with this game. Yep. Uh, there's two oh, dudes wearing the same purple that's, shirt. That's fucking iced tea, man. That's, that's like <laughs> it's time, white iced tea. It's time relative iced tea. It's from when he was it's in that metal band. Tea. <laughs> what was the name of the metal band Ice Tea was in? Body Count. Ooh, I've been looking for that for so long. Cop killer! <laughs> there goes the neighborhood. Look it up. Yeah. Indulge yourself. There you I'm just go. Stop it there. That's good enough. Buddy. Yeah, dude. We just we just granted yeah, and, a gift. And then, and then I, and then I'll, <laughs> you're welcome. It. Seven kids killed in gang warfare in my backyard.